Alright everyone, this is going to be a special video today because when I woke up, I figured out I had 900 subscribers, that's right, we finally made it, only 100 to go, you know, I'm going to be pushing videos this week because I want 1k subs before Christmas, or oh, at Christmas time, so we can have a 1k sub Christmas special. <laughs> Yeah, may as well if we get to it. But that's that wasn't the only good thing I saw this morning. I also saw there was a second trailer for Camp Cretaceous. That's right, Camp Cretaceous season two. And Ceratosaurus was in it. Yes, that makes me so happy. And it looks so massive. And oh wow could just be an awesome antagonist. I can't wait to see it back and actually doing something. <laughs> I'm just so happy for it. And speaking of Camp Cretaceous Season 2, um, yes, we're doing Parallax again, except this time we're doing it during the daytime. Because uh, we're going to win it, first of all. But I have two other things I need to say. Firstly, you can actually find Parasaurolophus Lux during the daytime now. That's right. No longer at night time where you're going to get in trouble. Find yourself. So, I uh, don't uh, know. Whatever, what happen whatever happens at night. I don't know. Um, I, I clearly got Parallax before then. Um, but. Uh, it, it makes it so much easier to find now that it's during the daytime. Should I go on Rampage there? I have no clue. I might get hit badly by this Hadrosaurus. Anyway. So, the second thing about Parallax is, if you look closely in the trailer for Camp Cretaceous Season 2, Pa Parasaurolophus Lux, or the Biluminous Parasaur, is actually in it, I, I think. Because if you look at this daytime, Parasaurolophus Lux in Jurassic World the game, and then you go back to Camp Cretaceous Season 2 trailer, the daytime Parallax is actually in it, being chased by a T-Rex um, when Kenji's running away. You can see quite clearly it's the exact same model and all. And you'd think Ludia would have the information to what it looks like. So maybe this is actually canon, and we've seen it here first in Jurassic World Live. Maybe we could also see Warden Rex eventually, and that's going to happen. But I doubt But Maybe. Maybe. Because they did say no hybrids, and Warden Rex isn't a hybrid. If they put that in Dominion. Yeah, so... Today's definitely been a good day so far, and uh, do you guys uh, remember that one person I spoke about, <laughs> who was advertising the Toast Plushies? Guess what, they're back, <laughs> yes he's back, <laughs> I asked him why he's back, said it's a long story, but in simple terms, no one wouldn't let him into their alliance. So he's back, banging on the door, just wanting to get in. He's begging me not to make a video about this, but whatever. I'm not I'm not saying his name. My alliance knows who it is, but I'm not saying the name. <laughs> I made him join the Discord and forced him to say hi to everyone. <laughs> everyone knows he's the meme. <laughs> I wouldn't. Wanted to see all the reactions, so it was pretty funny. <laughs> and <laughs> is yeah, I I don't even know. <laughs> He's he didn't want to join the Discord. He knew, but as as soon as I said I'll remove you from Alliance, he joined. So. That was really funny.
Mm. Anyway, Parallax could almost finish off this round if it wanted to. But uh, no, it's not gonna. Because it's slightly short of damage. Yeah, way too short. Right, and on to round two, that is. There we go. You know, let's uh, talk about Ceratosaurus, because that's a big topic, and I'm really excited about that coming back. So, yeah. D do you reckon, because the new series, right, it comes out uh, January 22nd, so it's not far away. That's about a month away, almost. Um, so, do, do you reckon that Ceratosaurus could be added to Jurassic World Alive for 2.4 during on January 22nd, or somewhere close to that? Because that would be exciting. You know I, I'm already going to be grinding for it the day it comes out. I will not stop until I have Ceratosaurus. And it is potential... Because we've seen this brand new brown ceratosaur, potentially the female ceratosaur. Um, but we've also seen a red one, the male one, the main one, the very first one we saw. Could there be a Gen 1 and Gen 2 where maybe the brown one is an epic and then the red one is rare or the other way around? Man, oh my goodness, the brown one. It it just looks so awesome. And actually, the brown one even reminds me of the reason why I actually love Ceratosaurus so much. The first time I saw it. Uh, Um, yeah, so the first time I saw it, well, not the first time I saw it, but in Jurassic World, the game, 2016, that was when I first loved, um, Ceratosaurus, because I saw, they added in tournaments, and I saw its model, and I just loved the look of it, it just looks so cool. Oh, we're gonna finish this, cool. Um, and this Camp Cretaceous Season 2 reminds me of that one, so I just really like that a lot, and hope it comes to Jurassic World Live, because that would be so awesome. Anyway, next up we're going to get Trainer to Shield, Jurassic to Rampage, and Silver to strike. So I think we can finish it off in four goes, hopefully.
I'll heal you. Hopefully that's enough damage to take it out. I'm not sure if it is. Ooh. The shield doesn't help there. Not one bit. Should be good. Yeah, not really sure what to do here. And Mortem's back up to 5k. Mortem has killed Adris Lock. And the 8k is just a tank of the schooner. Would damage the minions slightly. Oh yes, that's what we need. And then I'll damage the minions slightly. Yep. damage are we going to get through because I could do a heal heal. I reckon Mortem has enough to take out the Gorgo along with backup with about 2k from Schooner. Yeah, just about. It's going to do 1880. Um, let me quickly just calculate that. 1880 plus yeah um so that's going to add up to about 4347. <laughs> and that is one op, so I need to go back. If 
then me not going for the cleanse would ruin everything. It's gonna get a crit though, isn't it? No? Okay. Yeah, if the schooner doesn't get a crit, Gorgo will be 1 HP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they realise my um, parallax targets everyone, so they're panicking a bit. <laughs> they were all panicking so much. Alright, I'll probably go instant heal here. So this is definitely looking like a really good round that we could probably pass. Yeah, and finally we can actually probably say, I can probably say that Parallax has gone in across the finish line in a Hadris Lux raid instead of just beating the three rounds like last time. Are we gonna finish it here? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. So yeah, I think we're gonna just finish it off. Um, cleanse here. Gemini, and I think my Parallax will be slower, so it can go the instant heal, which will remove the distraction of everyone. 
So let's check. And you don't give me time to check, do you? Speed of 53. Speed of 53. So I should be slow. And this is looking pretty good so far. And zero damage. <laughs> With the pathetic crit. close to done. I wonder if we could get this done with Parallax full health. Maybe. But I guess the important thing is just getting it across that finish line. And that's not really a move we want to see from Intelodon, but it's gonna happen, so whatever. At least my Parallax isn't getting targeted. Parallax gives everyone part of their health back. Autumn is looking a little low, but I reckon we can still cross the line with it. Shields up team. Good. Very good. Alright. Uh, we should be able to pass with a couple of turns left. Maybe. We're below 10k health, so we basically finished it off within just the right amount of time. And I'll probably heal again next, and it'll basically be over. Still on 8k, so not really losing much there. In fact, it's about the same health as uh, Hadros.
Alright, we're gonna try and get um, Parallax to finish it off here because that would be the cherry on top, to be honest. So let's see what moves we can go for. Hey? I think maybe it can finish it off here. Yeah, I think Parallax is going to get final takedown. And that's going to be the cherry on top, hey. Yes, it is. Ha ha ha. Yeah, the cherry on top. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Awesome. Could have even gone for Cleansing Strike if I wanted. Anyway, thanks for watching the 900 sub special everyone. Um, I'll put up a clip of me opening my Hadris Lux Incubator. See you all later then. <laughs>